Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and in this session we are going to take a look on how can we import or load another workforce structure that is location in our cloud instance. So firstly we have to prepare our dead file then we have to compress it or zip that particular file and then only we'll be able to load this uh, location business object in our uh, uh, cloud instance so let me just show you how can we prepare our uh, location dot date file uh, for the purpose of loading into the uh, cloud instance so let me show you the file first how can we prepare that file and how can we load this one so here you can see here is my file which I have already prepared it. So this is basically my location uh, do, uh, dot dead file which contains metadata and merge information. So metadata contains all the header information for this particular location uh, business object and merge rows contain all the uh, row data or information for this particular uh, file. So basically here is the location and its source system owner is defined over here so system id is also there and effective start date end date set code location code all the mandatory fields which are required for this particular file or this particular business object are basically defined over here and i have provided the appropriate value for each uh, and every attribute required for this particular file so now the next step is just have we just have to save it so I am just going to keep it on my desktop so we have to provide the same name so location and the extension will be dot date as I have we have already discussed this thing so save it and then So here is my file location dot date on uh, and I have saved it on my desktop. You can see it over here location and I'm just going to compress it or zip it by right clicking on it and click on this compress to zip so that the file has got zip. Now the next step is just we have to go to our cloud instance. This is basically my instance home page and then i have to reach out to my uh, data exchange work area in order to import this particular file so we just have to go to my client group and under it we just have to search for the data exchange work area and click on So here under the data exchange work area, we have an option called import and load data. And here these are basically previously loaded files. So I'm just going to delete all uh, the previously loaded files. That has been deleted. Now I'm going to delete or purge this one also. and this one also so here we can see all the previously uh, imported files have been deleted from here now i'm just going to uh, import my recently created file that is location and i i have just go to there and select my file which is on my desktop so here it is location you can see select it click on ok and then just click on this option review parameter 
and here all the information for this particular file is available over here click on submit we get one confirmation our file was submitted click on ok and then just click on this refresh button so here we can see our file has been uh, appeared over here and right now its import status is in progress and load status is has been logged not ready yet so we just have to refresh it keep on refreshing until we get the import status and load status success so here after refreshing we uh, get the success message for we get the success for import status and load status and here we can see that uh, total objects uh, are three over here we can just go to our location file and see how many rows we have inserted basically we have three rows three merge rows and we just have to go there and search uh, the particular location name which is uh, this one this is basically my location name so we just have to go to our instance and search for the location so i'm just going to we just have to go to uh, the profile icon or setting and action button and we have to search for manage locations under global search area we have to search for manage location so here we can see our desired task has been displayed over here click on it and location name is bisp location 06 so here we can provide the name for the location which contains the keyword as bisp provide the appropriate keyword and search for the location okay let's search for x x x test search for it okay so we are not uh, getting the result by the uh, name so we, i'm just going to provide the location code which is bisp location 5 bisp underscore loc 5 so here we can see and if i provide loc 6 so we can get the result for that one also so here you can see the location name is xx test location 6 code is there location set is also there status is also there uh, city country and postal code is also there and if we search for this so we can get all the respective uh, code over here so bisp all the location which we have loaded basically we have loaded three rows so we can see all the three locations have been successfully loaded in our cloud instance so this is how we can import or load a, a location in our cloud instance and previously we had seen grid and a job as well and we'll see some other objects which are required and then we'll move on in uh, 
this session uh, in this series in the tutorial series so this is basically all about this one if you have uh, any question regarding this one please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com thank you everyone